Ahoy! I'm Stuart Wick, Nocturnal Media, publisher of tabletop role-playing games and board games. Longtime gamers know me best as the founder of White Wolf. We embraced storytelling and tabletop role-playing games in the 20 years that I co-owned White Wolf. In that time, I co-created Vampire the Masquerade. Oh, not to worry, I have this covered. And I... Oh, sorry. You can't see me. But my most personal project was Mage the Ascension. Much better than a fax machine. Hey, it was 1993. Give us a break. That'll be useful. Until recently, new editions of two White Wolf games, Mage and Exalted, were the most funded tabletop role-playing game projects on Kickstarter. What happened? A second edition of John Wick's Seventh Sea happened. Wick? No, we're not related. Seventh Sea was the first tabletop role-playing game project on Kickstarter to break $1 million in funding, thanks to the generous support of over 11,000 backers. The new game allows tens of thousands of gamers to tell their own Seventh Sea story. But we want to tell one story in particular, and we need your help to do it. We need your help to fund Voyage of Fortune Star, a story-driven computer role-playing game. If you're not familiar with 7C, we should tell you a little bit about that first, and who better to do that than John Wick. Are you ready to be a hero? Ready to live and die for causes that matter? If yes, then you're ready for 7C, a game of swashbuckling adventure and intrigue, exploration and adventure, mystery and romance, taking place on the continent of Thea, a land inspired by our own Europe. Here, amidst global conspiracies, sinister plots, you may even explore ancient ruins of a race long vanished. For almost 20 years, tens of thousands of tabletop gamers have told thrilling stories set in the world of Thea. And now, 7C set sail off, off the tabletop and onto tablets, PCs, and consoles. Join me on the first voyage of Fortune's Star. This first voyage of Fortune's Star is the most important. Without your support, the ship will never be christened. Sure, we'd like to build a big, gorgeous game, but we don't want to overpromise. We'd rather overdeliver. So we're going to make the small, gorgeous game that our initial funding goal allows. But whatever the scale of the game, it's the story that's the most important. And I've got an amazing 7C story in mind. A Vodachin duelist turned pirate, the Krutz Ritter. A fate witch entrusted with generations old responsibility. Want more? How about a floating sarcophagus? The Schottenmann? I know this about the games we made at White Wolf, and John Wick could surely tell you the same about 7th C. Games of this scale are the work of more than one person, and if that's true of a tabletop role-playing game, then it's certainly true of a computer role-playing game like Voyage of Fortune Star. Fortunately, I'm not alone. This is the work of the talented people of Fuel Tech. They have the tech chops to accomplish anything you can imagine. They provided augmented reality to Fortune 500 clients before Pokemon Go was it Go. And they're already producing assets for the game. Here, meet our first protagonist, Enzolo Zorzi, captain of Fortune Star. We're also working on the UI. And the captain's quarters is where you can store all of your plunder. Not content with this meager amount of treasure? Better? As heartless and mercenaries you may wish to be, Anzolo has a heart of gold and will play the unwilling hero as he's swept up in events larger than himself. He'll sail his vessel to destinations better avoided, and he'll have to face threats no man who's not a Kreutzritter should have to contemplate. But these perils are not without possible reward. Remember the Fate Witch? Her name is Magdalena Salvaza, and we'd like to implement her as a fully playable second protagonist with additional and overlapping storyline. But we, and especially Anzolo, need your support for that. We need the support of thousands of you. Please, make our voyage possible. Mm -hmm.